Daimler, a manufacturer of trucks in Germany, Toyota, the largest automaker in Japan, and two other automakers announced on Tuesday that they will collaborate to develop new technologies, such as the use of hydrogen fuel, to combat climate change. The firms announced a merger between Hino Motors, a truck manufacturer in the Toyota Group, and Mitsubishi Fuso Truck and Bus Corporation, whose largest shareholder is Daimler Truck. Without providing a price for the transaction, Daimler Truck and Toyota Motor Corporation stated that they will each participate equally in the holding company of the Mitsubishi Hino merger. The businesses intend to collaborate in the development of various technologies, including electric vehicles, net-connected services, and autonomous driving, as well as in lowering carbon emissions. According to Toyota Motor Corporation CEO Koji Sato, this relationship between our four firms is a partnership for establishing the commercial vehicle industry in Japan as well as the future of a mobility society. According to the CEOs, in order to compete globally, the two truck businesses will focus on commercial vehicle development, acquisition, and manufacture. Trucks and buses keep the world moving, which is why Daimler Truck is extremely proud of its products. Martin Dorm, CEO of Daimler Truck, stated that soon they will even be able to do it without producing any pollutants. The announcement made today is a critical one for achieving both a financially viable future and a global leadership position in sustainable transportation. To keep up with the global transition to cleaner vehicles and to contribute in other ways to the fight against climate change, automakers are working quickly. The biggest sources of vehicle emissions are commercial vehicles like trucks and buses. A competitive advantage and cost savings can be achieved through economies of scale or by sharing knowledge and resources when competitors work together. Going at it alone is difficult. The importance of collaboration was stressed by Sato. Toyota's buses in Japan are powered by fuel cells, However, the company's forte has been in hybrid vehicles, which combine gasoline engines and electric motors similar to those seen in EVs. Officials from Toyota claim that consumer adoption of battery-powered electric vehicles has increased more quickly than anticipated and that the business is working hard to introduce EVs in a number of areas. The company stated that the following 18 months will be used to finalize the merger's details, including shareholder ratios, the company name, and its organizational structure. They intend to conclude the deal by the end of 2024 and sign a binding agreement by the beginning of the next year. Regulatory and shareholder approval of the transaction are still required. In light of the company's reputation being damaged by its revelation last year that it had routinely manipulated emissions data starting in 2003, Hino's chief executive, Satoshi Agiso, said the transaction offered a chance for a new beginning. In order to beat the increasingly tough global competition, he declared, we shall unite our desires to support mobility and contribute to society and work together to accelerate the development of innovative technologies. Toyota has long emphasized the importance of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, FCEVs, in its range, implying that they may one day become as common as hybrids are today. Those goals appear to have been abandoned as the corporation has shifted its attention to electric vehicles for personal transportation, with fuel cells being developed for medium and heavy duty trucks. Koji Sato, the new CEO of Toyota, stated that, for FCEVs, we will pursue mass production centered on commercial vehicles. In order to promote FCEVs, he continued, we will work with business operators, starting with commercial vehicles, such as medium to heavy duty trucks. Likewise, basic research on hydrogen engines for heavy duty commercial vehicles started last year, according to the business. He listed the primary advantages of FCEVs, such as significantly faster refueling times and weight savings from not needing a large battery pack. Because hydrogen fueling infrastructure can be centralized at important ports, depots, and transfer points, moving the focus from passenger cars to commercial vehicles should make it easier to build out. The Mirai has a WLTP 650 km range between fill-ups, but the absence of hydrogen filling stations has made it difficult for consumers to purchase it or comparable hydrogen fuel cell cars like the Hyundai Nexo. Free hydrogen refills at Toyota's former factory in Altona, Melbourne, are part of the Mirai's Australian lease agreement. Uncertainty exists regarding the impact Toyota's change in priority will have on its 10-year collaboration with BMW on fuel cell technology. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the future of passenger FCEVs, Sato used his press conference last week to make a splashy commitment to sell 1.5 million EVs annually by 2026 and introduce 10 additional EVs within that same span. 
It's a bold statement to make in light of the automaker's limited selection of electric vehicles and the BZ4X's problematic launch, which included recalls for wheels that might have come off. The company, with an EV range of up to 200 km for the latter, is dedicated to enhancing its hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, Sato added. And here's everything you need to know about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. How do vehicles with hydrogen fuel cells work? In hydrogen fuel cell automobiles, hydrogen gas is converted into electricity, which drives an electric motor, by means of a straightforward process. The proton exchange membrane, the anode, and the cathode are just a few of the layers of material that make up the fuel cell. Gaseous hydrogen is drawn towards the anode and divided into protons and electrons there. While the electrons are sent through an external circuit and the protons are directed through the membrane to the cathode, the electric current that powers the motor is produced by the latter. The only emission from the car is produced by the reaction of oxygen from the air entering the cathode with protons and electrons. In order to function, this type of vehicle needs a consistent supply of hydrogen gas, which is kept in high pressure tanks. As a result, refueling is similar to gasoline refueling and only needs a few minutes to complete. The broad deployment of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles has previously been hampered by a number of issues. The expensive price, which has restricted their availability to customers, has been one of the main barriers. On the other side, it has proven challenging for owners of fuel cell vehicles to locate filling stations due to the lack of infrastructure for the production, transportation, and dispensing of hydrogen fuel. Likewise there have been some technical difficulties with regard to the dependability and longevity of fuel cells as well as the difficulty of securely storing hydrogen in a vehicle. Through technological developments and enhancements to the infrastructure that produces and distributes hydrogen fuel, these problems have been resolved. However, there are still obstacles to lowering the cost of the vehicles and boosting the infrastructure for the supply and manufacture of hydrogen fuel. Today's market is flooded with hydrogen fuel cell vehicles from a number of automakers, each with its own set of features and functionalities. The Toyota Mirai, which has a driving range of more than 400 miles and can be refueled in approximately 5 minutes, is one of the most well-liked models. Another well-liked choice is the Honda Clarity fuel cell, which has a large interior and a range of more than 360 miles. With a range of up to 380 miles and a futuristic look, the Hyundai Nexo is a more recent model. These vehicles all have zero emissions, silent operation, and comfortable riding. In spite of the fact that the price of these automobiles is still quite costly in comparison to those that run on gasoline, they have a number of benefits, such as the possibility for long-term operating cost reductions and the satisfaction of driving a car that is more ecologically friendly. Both hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and electric automobiles are greener options than standard gasoline-powered vehicles, however they have some significant differences. In comparison to most electric automobiles, fuel cell vehicles have a longer range, which is one advantage. While some electric vehicles may travel up to 300 miles on a single charge, fuel cell vehicles can go much farther, with some models having a range of over 400 miles. In addition, refueling a fuel cell vehicle takes only a few minutes as opposed to the hours it can take to recharge an electric vehicle. In contrast to electric cars, which may experience a decline in performance as the battery ages, fuel cell vehicles provide a more consistent driving experience, with no power loss as the fuel cell deteriorates. Finally, fuel cell cars truly have no emissions because they only release water vapor. And sir, what do you think of this insane partnership of Toyota and Daimler? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.